our truck is missing on cylinder one and we're going to replace this cool pack for it. Now you can find these on, online or at your local auto parts store. We actually took this in to get it tested and it was cylinder one. It said either the cool pack or spark plug because it's missing on the cylinder. So we're going to show you how to replace it because it is the cool pack and cool pack is actually pretty darn easy to replace. So y'all stay tuned. Finally. Uh, you keep wiping the cheap. Good, you just sweat on everything. The whole floor, man. I can't step up Okay, we didn't have to move the exhaust. We didn't have to jack up. We didn't have to do anything. Look at that. So this is what your car sounds like with a bad coal pack. It's messy now, it's running rough. Here. Let me go to the outside of the truck. That's what it sounds like. Our problem is with cylinder number one, which is right here. And basically we have to remove this, this uh, pipe, our oil fill, and this valve cover, this plastic cover over our valve cover to get to the coil packs. So to remove these, you, there's a pin, you just push it up, and right here, you just push them, and it releases that. Take off your oil cap, set that somewhere, where you're not going to get all over, all over everything. And then this thing, it just pulls off. And your dipstick's in the way. And so this right here just has these little rubber things it sneaks into and it holds it on. Now with that exposed, I'm going to go ahead and put my oil cap back on. I don't like getting things down the, in the oil. This right here, let me see if I can show you this better. So this right here has a pound. You just pull that up. And then right back here, you'll push in to remove this. It just slides off. And then for your plug, you just pull that off right there. And you have two screws or two bolts to hold your coil pack in place. So when you're ready to unbolt your cap, it's a 10 millimeter. If you're like me, most of the, these are broke. So we use this really small one. So hopefully I don't break another one, another 10 millimeter. And these are pretty easy to get off. This is where I should probably use my impact. And that's it, it's off. It's pretty easy to figure out how it goes back on. So you just put it in place. It'd be easier not to be on a jacked up truck. And drop the top screw in first. Then I'm gonna drop the bottom in. And with my impact on the lowest setting, I can easily put these back in. Okay. Now I'll take and tighten them by the rest of the way by hand. Now these aren't big bolts, and there's nothing really on them.
And with my new coil pack in place, I can quickly just put the top connector on. Be sure to clip that back in place. Get your spark plug wire. Put that back on. Make sure it clips. And I can put this vacuum tube back in place and I can test it before I uh, actually assemble everything. Now I'm in my truck, I can go ahead and start it. And it runs normally. Give it a little gas. Runs a lot smoother. Bad coal pack. Here. So now that everything sounds good, I'm going to go ahead and pull this apart. So I got that off. Clip this off. Push this. Now I'll put my plastic bow cover back in place. Okay, get out of the way. And you're going to smash your fingers and all that doing this. There we go. Push it back. That's on. That's in. And that's on. Okay, now let's reset the uh, computer. So to reset the computer, all you do is you remove your, your negative cable. And it's tight enough. And you just leave it out for a while. The reason why I removed the negative versus the positive is you just saw me hit the metal there. And then you just try to work it off. There we go. And it's off. Okay, so I left the battery cable off for about five minutes. Just throw it back on there. I don't even think you have to leave it off for five minutes. I just do. And tighten everything back up. Now, I don't use impacts on battery terminals. And that should be good. And now let's go crank it up and see if we have a, a light. Okay. So now we're in the truck. Cranked it up. And... Our light is gone, and all is wonderful in the world. So the hardest part about replacing a coal pack is on a lifted truck, you have to do it from a ladder. So that's how I have to wash the truck, too. Yeah. But, She's a big girl. <laughs> but the thing is, my wife noticed this because we were going off to, the, to replenish our, our supplies in our house, and it was kind of missed. Yeah, it felt like we were being jerked with a, a, like a trailer. I kept asking her, I was like, are we, are we uh, pulling, I mean, is it on trailer mode or something? Because it felt like we kept skipping. So yeah, weird. 
So it was just a bad cap, and it's it's a really simple job. And I would also check before you go out and spend the money on this, look and unplug it and plug it back in, which we show, to make sure it's just not corrosion and you just need to reset that connection. Also, when your computer light comes on, you just pull the battery cable, the negative one, off and just let it sit there for a while. It will drain and the computer has no battery, so it'll lose that memory. And then when you plug it back in, you're fine. So, hopefully this uh, video was helpful for you. If you like it, give us a like down there. Looks like this. If you want to, you can subscribe to our channel. And also, be sure to check out this girl's recipes. Oh my goodness. I was waiting for it. I was like, he's about to say it. <laughs> they are lovely. And uh, the last one was a crock pot meal. Oh, I love black beans. And you can't go wrong. Oh, well, yeah. you can go wrong with black beans. <laughs> But not with my seasonings. Not with her seasonings and also the way she cooks it. So they were just, oh, they, they've already been looking, looked at quite a bit. Okay, enough, Dave. Along with the Irish uh, cabbage. Oh, my gosh, the cabbage steaks blowing up. See, I'll go check out them. We do recipe videos once a week. And also she writes more detailed instructions in our blog. On our so, website. Yes, so you can go there and, of course, get the details in the nitty gray on how to make these delicious recipes. Right. And with that said, y'all please take care. Bye. Y'all stay tuned. You. Good job. We need like pow, pow, pow. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Looking at our BB. <laughs> Just all kinds of noise out here. Planes, cars. That's what happens when we have to do a video outside with BB because she can't fit in the garage. That's <laughs> so pretty.